Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, taking a look at the latest charts here, seeing a little bit of a change, a little green showing up here, a little further to the south than computer charts were showing before. So that will be Friday night, a chance for some showers coming into the Boise Mountains. But it, right now, it appears it would be overnight, so that Friday would be dry and then Saturday would be dry. But uh, something I'll keep an eye on as we start approaching the weekend here. Let's take a look at what's going on in Boise right now. Still that smoke out there, but you know what? The air quality has been improving. Visibility, you know, maybe it's a little bit better, but it still looks a little bit murky out there. Current temperature in Boise is at 83. It's definitely been on the warm side. Warm temperatures continue to stream in from the southwest ahead of our cold front that's coming in uh, during the day tomorrow, and that's going to drop the temperature. So in the 80s today, we'll drop it to the 70s. Our air quality index is at 80 right now. That's right there in the center of the moderate category. So we were in the orange category this afternoon just a few hours ago, and now it's down to the yellow category, which is uh, uh, we were in the orange and now yellow, and hopefully we'll see good before you know it, even by tomorrow afternoon. It's possible. Rain falling in Seattle and around Portland. That fire north of east of Portland and southwest Washington must be out by now. I'm not seeing any hot spots on the satellite picture. And uh, so this is just great news for northern Oregon, western Oregon as it continues. Cloud cover streaming over us right now, but there's really no moisture with it. Uh, kind of a moisture starved atmosphere, very dry and warm conditions moving on in. There's that cold front lurking offshore and that is going to be moving in tomorrow and behind it cool and breezy conditions. So our temperature will drop but tomorrow afternoon will start to hold steady and then drop in the evening with a nice breeze developing during the afternoon. And the blue, which represents smoke that we have right now, you see tomorrow it's starting to thin out. This is midday Thursday. And then by Friday, actually by Thursday afternoon, it's mostly gone Friday no smoke at all across Idaho. And then this is Saturday, Sunday, and uh, go even into Sunday and Monday here. Nothing. No smoke at all. The smoke will be staying in California. That means we'll have some cloud cover around, but we won't be having that smoke. And so great weekend to get outside and enjoy the outdoors this weekend. Here's our front coming to midday Thursday. But look what happens here. Friday, we've got a lot of sunshine, pretty decent day. But look at that next front coming on shore with all that green. And Friday night, about midnight to 1 in the morning, that makes its further south approach where the Central Mountains, Valley County, and even the Boise Mountains could get some rain showers out of this as it pushes to the south. Maybe Boise itself could see a sprinkle overnight Friday night. You could wake up Saturday morning and the ground may be wet, a lot of cloud cover around. That cloud cover could break up during the afternoon, although it may stick around for a little bit. According to this chart, we'd get measurable precipitation. It's going to be really tough for Boise to get measurable precipitation on Saturday morning. This would be Friday night. Uh, ending Saturday morning, but it is still possible, something I'll keep an eye on. I still think it's going to be a very comfortable, certainly temperature-wise, weekend coming up. Redfish Lake still dealing with some smoke visibility, a little better today than it was yesterday, hitting 75. Tomorrow, 63, maybe a shower in the evening, and then a shower possible, uh, not out of the question, then Friday night, but look at the temperature by Saturday, 28 in the morning, 58 in the afternoon. The rest of the forecast of the weekend, you see that 58 turns to 67 on Sunday. Sunday could be a Beautiful day up in the Stanley area. Some rain showers on Thursday for the McCall area. And then again, Friday night, it's going to rain. I think if you're camping, you're likely to see rain in Valley County Friday night. I don't want to exclude that. So get ready for that. Although I think we'll break into uh, partly cloudy skies over the weekend and much cooler 50s and 60s. Some gusty wind tomorrow afternoon in my Idaho News 6 weather forecast for the Treasure Valley. Otherwise, just a partly cloudy day. And in temperatures you see, instead of being in the mid 80s, we go to the mid 70s or so the breeze in the afternoon, which will be blowing the smoke away. You may smell it at times, but it's going to be improving as the day progresses. There's a chance for showers tomorrow morning in the West Central Mountains. Look at that, 57 in McCall. Uh, that's a little on the chilly side. 68 in the Sun Valley area, so some gusty breezes could develop later on. And we look at my extended forecast for the Treasure Valley. Here come those changes that I talked about. 76 tomorrow and 75 Friday. Possible shower Friday night, only near 70. Upper 60s on Saturday. Uh, Sunday looks like it will be cool as well in the 70s and then warming up next week. So, Karen, we've got uh, big changes for the weekend. I think the best news is that the smoke will be cleared out out for Friday and all of the weekend, albeit it will get cooler and there'll be some rain on the Central Mountains. We can take it.